we have seen several mass transfer cases. Actually, we've seen diffusion or molecular diffusion. And what we will see now is convective mass transfer. And before we continue, I want you to check out this little diagram I found online. A first example to illustrate diffusion-induced convection. And we have evaporation of benzene, which you probably have been working with in the exercise before. And let me show you here. So we got benzene here, and I think this could be an atmosphere of air. So if we have a low flux, let it be a natural evaporation of benzene at low temperatures. The benzene vapor is dilute and evaporation is limited by diffusion. Remember, the main equation of flux was equal to the molecular diffusion part and the total bulk flow velocity. In this specific case, at very high temperatures, you will expect evaporation is a little bit more drastic because it's kind of near its boiling point. Well, technically, it's the boiling point. And you will see that evaporation here is very chaotic, controlled by convection. Convection can be assumed a sum of all the chaotic values. So let's say this one right here. So this is so small compared to, to the actual convective mass transfer flux. And then, of course, we got to have something in between in which we can say that both species are important. This will be the intermediate case. At lower temperatures, not so low that it will be dilute and limited by diffusion, but note in the level in which you are literally having bubbles of evaporation. This is the intermediate case and occurs in which both diffusions and convections are important. I would say this is the worst case scenario because, of course, we want to model each individual phenomena. If we are talking about diffusion, which will be the slower case, well, you will want to have only one model for diffusion. If you're talking about convection, then you will want to have one case. I would say then this is not a preferable case. Molecular diffusion versus convective mass transfer is the main topic. Or actually, convective mass transfer is the main topic, but we gotta move from our previous knowledge on molecular diffusion. And we have several types of model for convective mass transfer, as you can imagine. There are theories and ways to approach this. We can either work with a detailed physical description based on fixed law and the diffusion coefficient and get so many fancy equations that get very interesting. Or, because we are engineers, we don't like to get that complex. We will go with the engineering approach, which is based on the mass transfer coefficient. We will see that all the crazy equations, mathematics, and experiments can be simplified with just using a mass transfer coefficient. From now on, MTC or K. And if you don't remember, we will be using uh, dimensionless numbers, such as Lewis number, Sheldon, Nussel, Pandel, Schmidt, and so on. So for now, I think it's a good introduction to mass transfer cases. Remember that there are two main ways and the main way to attack will depend on the type of process. So yeah, of course you could, in theory, make a convective mass transfer approach towards a, a diffused base analysis or vice versa, as stated before, you can use diffusion equations or models to model, whoops, would be this one right here and this one right here to model something uh, as chaotic with convective mass transfer.